Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of On Going a Journey, an essay by William Hazlitt. Hazlitt begins the essay by saying how much he loves going on a journey and what are the benefits of it. And he says that he enjoys when he goes out when he is alone because he wants only nature to be his only companion. And he says that he hates the company of fellow travellers because they will keep chatting and they will be worrying about other things than enjoying the nature around them when they travel. And he loves his solitude and his freedom. Therefore, he wants to be alone when he is travelling. And he says the purpose of a journey should be liberating oneself from the everyday world and what all concerns everyday life. And to remove oneself from the presence of company and anxieties, one must become connected to nature. Only then you will feel one oneness with nature. And he says the only way to achieve such a union is through complete freedom of thought. And he enjoys the silent commentary of wild flowers or the music of flowing waters. That constant uh, party with a fellow human over worldly topics because when you are enjoying the nature, they will keep on chatting about something else which will not allow you to have an oneness with nature. Uh, and he says such freedom does not demand a confession of feelings in words or gestures uh, because nature will understand you and you will understand nature. He claims that when we are with others, we should completely devote our attention to them and entertain their thoughts and opinion. Like for instance, when you are uh, looking at a particular scene, more than what your mind thinks about it, the other person can say what they feel and you will not be able to enjoy the completeness and maybe you will have to agree with what they are saying. But when we are alone and traveling, we should just concentrate on our own thoughts and reflect on them. We can either be alone or together, but not both at the same time. That is, you can't have a company of people with you and try to think that you are alone. So, either you go alone or if you go with a company of people, just allow that to be as it is. Because we cannot talk and reflect at the same time. We cannot converse and have internal thoughts at the same time. That is the reason. And he says, when one is with nature, he must lose all thoughts of collecting and analyzing information. He must experience and not judge or evaluate such experience. However, when we have the company of another person, we always have to communicate and express our experience into hasty words. Then, one has to make such information relevant to them, express it in a way they can, uh, the writer admits his incapacity to do the same. He has to ponder and think for hours before he puts uh, his thoughts on paper. He says there is only one topic where it is good to have company on travel and that is regarding food and meals because at that time you can discuss and you can tell how the food is and also ask how is uh, their experience on having the food. And he says that this creates tension and a need to satisfy other people's anxiety. This way you can never truly immerse yourself in the natural environment around you. At this time he praises Samuel Taylor Coleridge, his very close friend, who could experience and narrate such experience at the same time without flaws and corruption. He could instinctively translate his enjoyment into words. However, even then the sheer enjoyment of a warm meal at the end of a taxing journey can truly be experienced alone. He believes all the forms of ecstasy that a journey offers can truly be enjoyed in solitude. One can be greedy in such a setting, allowing oneself to sing, dance and be free without being judged. The poor joy of delicious food and appetizing smells coming from a steaming pot of food should not be wasted over a cheap conversation. He claims when you ignore your fellow travellers, you are ignoring your own grievances and worries. You are unidentifiable and almost invisible. You do not have to be the person everyone knows you to be. You can lose your very identity and with your inhibitions, biases and preferences. Hence, one is free to indulge in new thoughts and contemplate the metaphysical even. 
he calls uh, many musings he had on lonely visits to an inn uh, he remembers his favorite spot which he finds enchanting and returns to all the time uh, these feelings he does not want to share with others who may not value it the same he wants to enjoy such beauty and delight in isolation he goes on to discuss the unpredictable nature of one's travel and experience uh, a change of space can change our whole perspective altogether we make new memories in place of old ones new moments in place of the past ones there is a constant shifting of viewpoints and perspectives when we are in a place it may seem like the whole world and when we move to a different one we find a new world entirely thus we create and register an unending list of places and things and when we return to old places we remember and revisit these old memories of the same place when one is traveling alone the journey becomes more important than the destination itself it is more about how than where to he confesses that when he travels to foreign lands with a different language he does like a familiar company however he claims he loved being in france where hardly anyone spoke english he found to be liberating and enriching to be in a land of a different tongue therefore foreign travel can challenge our limitations and learn more about yourself it takes you out of your comfort zone and helps you to grow as human being however he claims that no matter how long and enjoyable the journey it always ends at home every person no matter how much he enjoys traveling earns to be returning to the homestead in the end if he could travel for life he would still find another life to find his way back home it's a beautiful essay if you have anything to add on to what i've said please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe and support thank you